Hi, it's Bev. Welcome to Bump in the Road Studio. I know I've changed the name of my channel several times in the last couple weeks, but I was searching for something that really made an impression on me, and I think Bump in the Road is the perfect one because, well, read it in my description. I explain why. I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel for being here to support me in my endeavor to have fun and hopefully give you fun uh, times in your studio or in your car or wherever else you might be in your RV, just having fun. Today, I want to just go over a little bit of what I have already collected creatively to put in my new journal, my 2023 illustrated journal, and I want it to be a beautiful journal. Beautiful, beautiful, it has to be beautiful. You remember making these strips in my video about making strips, <laughs> and I'll put a link to that here so you can find it easily. And then in the last video, I made this beautiful cover, which is gonna go, I believe, this way, or was I gonna do it this way? way. I can't remember and I don't think it really matters at this point. I've made these beautiful pages for my journal and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Gorgeous. And look at this one. Aren't they pretty? And if I can do this, you certainly can. The first thing I'm going to do is cover my surface with some paper towels because we're going to use some water but we're also going to use some liquid watercolor. And I have the liquid watercolor in magenta, turquoise, and yellow. These are the three colors that I think most closely represent the three new primaries that we see in our inks on our computer and things like that. So we're gonna use those three and I'm gonna put some in this little palette. I'm also going to use some Nouveau Shimmer Powder. I'm gonna be using Cherry Balm, but I may also use Catherine Wheel Atlantis Burst. I mean, I could use any of these. Solar Flare, yeah, I'll we'll just put them all right out here. Blue Blitz and I have Violet Brocade. Well, liquid watercolor is not like regular watercolor. You know, with your regular watercolors, you can, I'm probably going to get, hold on, before I get any more ink on my hands. Oh, my hands are already pink. Isn't that wild? So I'm going to use some gloves in a bottle. Just like a hand lotion. Puts an invisible layer between the stuff and your hands. And I'm using Blick brand. It says it's dye-based. Wash your hands and clothes promptly because this will stain. But I like to live dangerously, so <laughs> I'm gonna open this. Ooh, I'm not even taking the whole paper off because it's it's liquid, so it comes out fast. Some blue or turquoise as is it's called, and yellow. Okay, so notice how I put them in here like the color wheel. I'm gonna take a piece of regular paper from my computer, actually from my printer, and I'm going to take oil pastel in gold, copper, and silver. Aren't they just so beautiful? And I'm gonna make a pattern. I'm gonna do some mark making. So you probably realize that what this is going to do is be a resist. Whoops, this will be a resist or will repel the watercolor, because this is oil, and oil and water don't mix. Correct? Correct the window. Now, to make this beautiful, I'm going to spray some water on the paper. But I'm going to start with some turquoise. If you see it over here, I'm just going to add a little water to each one of these paints, and I'm just pulling out some of the color, and I'm going to start painting. Ooh, look at that. You can already see the resist. You can see the resist. And I'm just playing. I'm doing a what if here. What if I add the paint here first and then spray more water? What will happen? Will the paint move? Let's see. It will, but not as much as, it's almost like it stained the paper already. Very, very strong color. It already stained the paper. So I think what I'm gonna try is more water. Hmm, I like that though. So let's do, I'm gonna do another one down here, same color. And I'm using a different approach with my brush. 
up and down just to play and see what happens. And now I'm gonna spray that with water. Okay. Well, it's moving enough that I can kind of blend the color a bit. So what I think I'm going to do is continue and make this paper just turquoise paint. I added a little water in my palette and it's coming out lighter. So, so far we've learned that the paint will stain the paper, but if you add water, you can blend it out, but the marks don't disappear. So this down here is even lighter because I had already added water to this and then added more water and made it lighter. So we can see how if you don't want marks, you wanna blend the water first or use some different kind of paper. This is just paper from my printer. These are on cardstock. Those are, those are sturdier paper. However, I'm making pages for my beautiful book. And look, just look how pretty that looks together. Beautiful, right? See how pretty that looks already? Just gorgeous. This is going to be a beautiful book. So there's one. And I'm going to just put this over somewhere. Hopefully, JJ won't find it and walk all over it. I'm going to lay it on the floor and hope for the best. And then you have this. <laughs> Look how cool that looks. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think I like this better than anything. <gasps> That's so crazy, right? So crazy. One more. And what should we start with this time? I'm thinking wet it. Obviously going to skip the oil pastel. And I just want to make it gorgeous. This yellow is kind of almost like it's got a gel in it. I don't know why I start up in that corner. Isn't it funny how when we're kids, we don't really get the idea of depth. Okay, the top of the page is the sky and there's the sun. And you know, every kid does that because in our brain, we aren't able to get the three-dimensional and put it on a two-dimensional surface. But that's okay, we learn down the road. And unfortunately, we unlearn a lot of things too. We're gonna make some green right up here. It's so weird how it doesn't blend. Let's see if I put a lot of water first and then add it. Does it blend? Seems to. Yeah, these liquid watercolors are different. I'm gonna keep playing with them though. See what else I can do. All right, let's see. Let's mix some green on the palette. Let's take some yellow, a little bit of blue, and make a green. Mm -hmm. That works. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Back into my horizontal lines. These are crazy looking. These are crazy looking. Did I tell you they're crazy looking? <laughs> if I add some blue over here, will it work? As long as I use enough water, it seems to work. You really need that water to carry the color. After all, it is watercolor, although I'm not quite sure how it works, but we will learn. All right, so I'm gonna add water to this on my brush. You just need the water. If you don't have the water, it just stains. Very high staining. You may have to use these in more of a deliberate way or try them on a different paper. I'll try them on Yupo, see how that works. Well, we're just wanting to make some pretty pages. I am using an awful small brush too. Although I'm not gonna use my watercolor brushes with these because I'm afraid the color will not come off. I'll save those for my regular watercolors. Pretty as far as a background would go, but you know what's weird? I think I have two pieces of paper. Yup, yup. <laughs> Which is another way to do it. I'm just gonna leave that. So now I'm going to add some blue blitz and some solar flare and then we'll just spray them. I put two colors next to each other so I'm hoping they will move and blend. Ooh. Uh oh, that's really fun. That's really fun. Oh my. Okay. Oh, it's so green. I think I will take that other one that I just had and maybe soak up some of that color. 
didn't really soak up much of anything. I just discover if you fold the paper, you're going to get some cool lines. Ooh, look at this. That one is really wet. And then I have this. You know I'm not throwing that out. But while I'm doing this, I'm going to show you something else that I made. I don't believe I've ever shown you guys these. But these are baby wipes that I used to clean out some watercolors. I already used a piece of one in one of my journals. Here's our baby wipe. Ooh, it's so soft. Look at this one. You can't plan something like that. It's gorgeous. Ooh, I just got goosebumps. I don't know if it's because it's chilly in here. Oh, or is it this design? I just love that. This is going in my beautiful book. Oh yeah, but because it's a lot of floral designs in this book, I'm going to make some flower backgrounds. Nothing fancy. And again, threes. This one's going to go off the edge. Make them smaller. Itty bitty, filling in the spots everywhere. I always like to make them go off the edge. Then I'm gonna make some just looking like they're flying away. Almost look like popcorn. Guess it could be popcorn. <laughs> Why not? Tiny ones flying away. If you're ever doing this and you don't quite know how to make them look natural, do them in threes. One, two, three. See the three? One, two, three, one, two, three. And it kind of makes you feel better. I need one down here. Wait. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I can even put them behind each other, right? Why not? That looks kind of great. Are you out there? Hold on. I just have to see if someone's at my door. Hi, Nick. My big kitty's here. Hi, big Maine Coon. More of that watercolor. And I'm going to make some purple. See, I just brought the blue and the pink together here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I'm just going to paint it up and down. Bye, Nick. <laughs> yeah. He's actually more of George's buddy, and JJ is more mine. Look how pretty that looks. It's just having fun. We're just having fun. Let's some more water. <sighs> and watercolor does dry lighter, so this will not be this dark. A little bit more magenta. Maybe you got some new art supplies for Christmas. George and I don't really give each other gifts anymore because, you know, at this age you get what you want. And we have our RV. That's like a big rest of the year gift. Look at that. Pretty, right? Very pretty. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Get better looking stuff on the paper towels which kind of gives me an idea. Look at all those different colors mixed together. Let's try to make bands. And this is just getting more gorgeous as we go. Thinking, I'm gonna put a piece of paper here and a piece of paper here and see what happens if I brush off the edges. Cause that's what I was really liking. And maybe wet it. Oh, where's my other spray bottle? Yeah, good one. There we go. And pink and make that lovely purple. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And just do this. Ooh, interesting. Like it. I like it. I even like that because there's water. See what the water is doing? Oh, that's cool. And you have to put the water there first and kind of push the color into the water. Right? Let's see. Yeah. Okay, now we're getting something interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. That's watercolor. 
That's cool. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to touch it. I want to just let it dry. I could soak up some of the water, but I'm afraid I'll lose my design. I love that. I'm going to leave that one and we're going to come back and check on them later. I just had to come back in here and check. A lot of the water has evaporated, so it's easy enough for me to pick it up, although it's not dry yet. But look how gorgeous this one is. Can you see the dots from the yellow mica powder? I love how that worked with the edges. It's just so awesome. I wasn't expecting to like this as much as these. Look how pretty. Oh, I'm excited to use these. And of course that looks amazing. Let me see how the other ones are looking. Well, here's the first background paper. Aren't those nice? I mean, nice is a benign word. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, here's the others. They're not dry yet, but the neat thing is, look, they go through. In a journal, I'm gonna have four beautiful pages. They all do that? Oh, they did. Oh, how fun. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so that's because I'm using regular paper instead of cardstock. Oh my goodness. This is the first one we did. You can see where the paint stained. This one's kind of light. They're all gonna get a little lighter. And then of course this one. Oh, I love that. Check it out. Now we're moving on to some ephemera, or as some people call it, fodder. And I want to use the same Blick liquid watercolors to do this. I need to say something about something that I saw on YouTube that really gave me a totally different impression of liquid watercolor. I watched a video where watercolor was actually said to be comparable to watercolor ink. And the artist kept interchanging those words. She would say acrylic ink, watercolor ink, liquid watercolor. They're all the same. No, they are not all the same. And one thing she said about them was that they dry permanently in your palette. And that once they dry, you can't use them again. You can't reconstitute them like you can with regular watercolor. That is not true. So I was in shock when I was able to reconstitute this. And look, this is the same palette that I used. And I was able to just rinse it out and all of the watercolor came out. It is not permanent. So be careful. Y if you watch a video like that, it might turn you off to watercolor that's liquid. And liquid watercolor is fabulous. So we're going to use it again. I'm going to add some water. You know, it's funny. Now I'm noticing these all have kind of a jelly-like consistency. There must be some kind of gel or something in them. Ooh, look at that. I'll put this, and I'm being really sloppy, but it doesn't matter because these are going to be cut out. I'm just doing this to see how the paint reacts to the paper. I'm not really worried too much about anything else. And I mean anything else. Let's try in the center... Oh, it does blend better on watercolor paper. Definitely. Yeah, it was the paper. It works much better. Oh, these are fun. So much fun. Really fun. That blended. Let's see what happens if I go out of the lines and pull it. Oh, yeah. Look how pretty that is. It does stain a little, but not like on the other papers. Forget everything I said about it not working and blending on paper. It does. It just depends on the paper. Look how pretty. Oh, I love it. This is the watercolor paper. Let's see if we lay a line of color down. What happens? Okay, right? If I put water down here, does it blend in? Oh, sure it does. Look at that. Sure it does. Can we get rid of a hard line? Mmm, not so easy. It still does stain the paper. You don't want to scrub. Oh wait, I'm getting rid of that line. I love you, Blick Liquid Watercolor. You're fabulous. I'm really loving this. I just love that. I just love that. That's the beauty of watercolor. This is mixed media paper. Super simple thing I'm doing here. Just a test. This is a test. For the next 60 seconds, this is a test. <laughs> Do you remember those things when you couldn't watch things when you wanted to? You had to watch what was available on TV. So now I'm going to put yellow. Sometimes in paints, yellow is just so incredibly strong that it takes over. This yellow is just plain pretty. Look at that. I can even put it in with the uh, other colors. Yes. Yes. 
I have not been fair to you. Oh, liquid watercolor from Blick. And blue right over the yellow. Layered with the yellow gives us green. And that is fabulous. I'm loving it. And I'm just going to do a background really quick. Using up what's on my brush. These flowers aren't anything fancy. Just draw what you like and have fun with it. Who cares? It's cute. It's adorable. Wait till you see it in my book. <laughs> now for the really fun one. If you've never used Yupo, get ready. I'm going to mix on Yupo. And the thing with Yupo is it is non-porous. What I want to see here is if this will stain the paper. Okay, do you see how it's repelling? Because I probably got my fingerprints on there, which, you know, have oil in them. We all have oils in our in our skin, in our hands. Let's see what happens when we add yellow. See, isn't it Yupo amazing? Look at that. Because it hasn't absorbed the color, it just gives you this really cool effect. And the paint will just move around. Now let's do some yellow on the leaf. And what I'm seeing and what I'm really liking is that the, the Sharpie is not moving. Can add textures. Now, this paint is on the surface of this paper. It doesn't have any kind of absorbent quality to it. So I'm going to see what happens. Will this color stain Yupo? So let's see. Hmm, look at that. Do we see a stain? Barely. It doesn't stain. It doesn't. At least not the color I just tried. And that's a pretty strong color. And if I don't like it, <laughs> okay, so then this is the mixed media. Didn't go through, did blend, and did not do anything bad. <laughs> I ran out of words. And this is the watercolor paper. Didn't go through, did blend, and left some beautiful marks. The great thing about these Blick watercolors was that they were on clearance. That's the only reason I bought them, because I had heard that they are not reusable. They dry, they're permanent. And now I'm glad I know that they're not. So awesome. So awesome. So now we know. So that's it for today. Thanks so much. Bye.